Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mahesh. Today I got the WD My Passport Pro wireless external hard drive to check out. So let's go. It's a 2TB version and has a built-in SD card reader and supports iOS and Android. The inside flap has a quick start guide. Shows you how to start copying from an SD card. We'll go into all this in detail later, so stick around. The setup guide has a big hello on it, just like Apple devices. On the back, it also has the Wi-Fi password for this device. More on that later. Comes with a nice hefty 12 watt charger. Bunch of leaflets that are totally useless, just throw them away. USB cable for charging and data transfers. So here it is, it's a bit heavy because of the mechanical hard drive inside. On the side you get the power button, USB 3 port, USB 2 port and battery status and SD card backup button. Here you go, the SD card port. When power is off you can press the SD card button to check the battery charge of the device. One light means I need to charge it pronto. So to get started, first download and install the WD My Cloud app. Press the power button and turn on the device. Go to your Wi-Fi settings on your iPhone and you see the My Passport Wi-Fi network. Connect to that. First time you do it, you'll need the Wi-Fi password provided in this card. Now open the app and go to settings and you see a ton of options to tweak. Main things you need to worry about are these. Go to battery option and enable battery optimization. This will conserve juice by disabling one of the two Wi-Fi networks not in use. 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. Next, go to SD card and make sure copy new items only is enabled. This means when the SD card is inserted, the device will copy only items not already in the hard drive. Saves time. Automatic import should be enabled as well. Means you don't need to press the SD card button after inserting card to offload the files. Same with the USB import options. Next, go to storage and you see the items already in the drive. Mostly drivers and software and some sample photos and videos. Notice the SD card import and USB import folders are empty. Let's fix that. Here you got a SanDisk Extreme Pro UHS 3A2 micro SD card with an adapter. It's full of DJI drone videos. Let's stick it in, see what happens. Press the SD card button and boom, it starts importing from the card. Each of the four lights stand for 25% increments. When all four lights up, means all the files have been copied. Within the app, you see the files starting to add up in real time. And it's done. You can also back up the built-in memory from another device, such as a camcorder, by connecting directly to the USB port. Select built-in memory from the camcorder menu and press the SD card button. And boom, it's on baby. 
can also use the Passport Pro as a power bank and charge your devices with its built-in 6700 mAh battery. The files that are offloaded to the hard drive can be previewed wirelessly from your iPhone app. But the streaming is jerky and takes a lot of time to buffer. Maybe it's because these are 4K files, I'm not sure. So with this little hard drive, I can easily offload files from my SD cards or cameras without the need for a laptop or PC, which is great when you're traveling. So thanks for watching, see you guys later.